Hi, my name's Martin, and I want to show you something absolutely amazing with Dynamics GP. Now, we're going to start off in SmartList, which is something that everybody's familiar with. Um, and I'm going to go to my SmartList here called Agent Commissions. Now, this is one that's been built with SmartList Builder to give me the exact data I want to see to be able to calculate commissions to agents who sold our products. Now, I've got a favorite here that restricts this down to just invoices. I don't want to pay a commission on quotes. Um, or back orders, I just want invoices. And here you can see I've got a field called Commission Calculated. And they're the agents that have sold products this month um, through the system. Now what I want to do is automatically create in Accounts Payable those payments. And I can do that by running the Smart Connect run from this map. Now I don't want to do it for anybody that I don't have an agent or a commission for. So firstly I'll filter my data, which is what every Dynamics GP user knows how to do. And say only where the commission amounts greater than zero and we'll filter out all the junk from this smart list now we've got the nice list that we'd like to run and we'd like to calculate that so simply hit the smart connect run button which map i want to create agent commissions and i hit run and it pops back and says i'm finished run successful so we'll jump across to prove that something happened there you'll notice there american charge should have got one for 819 dollars over in the purchasing module, transaction entry, we go to the very last vouchers created. And there is one there for America charge for $819 in a batch called commissions created today. Um, so that's as easy as it was to take a list of data out of SmartList, filter that data, and then create more records in GP based upon the data we had. So what I want to do in the next few minutes is show you how I did it. Um, and how we went through it. Now the exciting thing is that I did it. I'm not a developer, I'm a GP user, and I built the entire integration from scratch. So firstly, against the vendor, we stored the agent commission. So how much commission does each agent get paid? So Ace Travel here, it's in our setup, will get paid 20%. So now any sale we assign them to, will have that 20% connected. Against every sales transaction, I had to be able to define who the agent was. Now there's no great place in GP to store that agent field. So here against every line, I'm able to pop into this window here and say the agent on this transaction happened to be, and I can choose one. So we've now got Berger on communication is the agent. Now I wanna check that they've got a valid commission so I can drill back to that same screen and define that they're only gonna get a very small 2% commission. 2.22 in fact, and that's the setup. So those two extra windows are extender windows. So we're storing the key data to run this integration inside those extender fields. So the second thing I had to do was build my smart list. So I use smart list builder here, and I said I want a new smart list called agent commission. Now I needed data from the sales lines, from the sales header, and then there's my two agent windows that I created inside extender. And I have a calculated field that says grab the um, extended price, multiply it by the agent commission, and because it was a percentage, I had to divide it by 100, and we end up with a smart list that looks like that one we started at. So going back to the smart list, that's the list that we ended up with through Smart List Builder with the data we needed to run that integration. Now, there's a third and final piece here, and that is the Smart Connect integration, which says grab the data from this smart list and turn it into accounts payable transactions. And so in Smart Connect here, I built a map that says, hey, I want to use a smart list data source. Which one? The agent commission one and the favorite was the invoices favorite. So that's the data that's going to be passed and only the data filtered in there will be passed through. In the mapping here, I've simply said I want a batch called comms, I want the voucher number, I want the vendor ID to be the agent, and I've mapped those fields through. My commission calculation from the smart list is a document amount, and that's the only setup I needed to do. So now I've done that from a smart list, I am able to grab that list, pull it open, filter it for this week, this month, this year, filter out some vendors, filter out some agents, get the data exactly how I want it, and then hit the Smart Connect Run, and it's gonna automatically create all those transactions directly from here. So that's how easy it is. Thanks for listening. Um, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, you know how to contact us here at E1. Thank you.